it's your girl joy back with another banger well this is just a continuation because my other video was too long so i've decided to make it into a different video because something else just flew into my head it just flew in oh it's oh i need to go to the doctor so anyway how you doing how you doing how you doing i hope you are doing well you are enjoying your summer your your kids your cousins nieces i know they're out for the summer um i go back to school on the second and i'm actually looking forward to it i'm ready to go back to school that's just weird right Ugh. and i i'm trying to do some new things to my classroom just little minor things money is still an issue but i did um Bay daddy did get me one thing and i don't like to ask for things i really don't but i wanted it so badly i just I, my mind couldn't stop thinking about it so i kind of hinted around at it so then i added it to my teacher's wish list you're welcome to check out my teacher's wish list if you like so it's not much on there but anyway anyway listen listen when i got me some personalized pencils so i've been ordering little things i got me some bright pink personalized pencils and it has please return to miss basil <laughs> mm -hmm. so i got personalized pencils did i get something else i thought i ordered two things i got the pencils and i ordered something else for my classroom so i don't know but then I, I want to change something else up. That little sofa in my room, I'm not really feeling it. And the, Anyway, I'll be there to show you my class again. It's not going to look that different. It was a company I wanted to beg for something. So I just have to write them and see if they're willing to donate to the classroom. And I need to repair some of the bikes in my classroom. So I do need to order one thing. I might be able to get it from Walmart. I'll have to check that out. Anyway. So somebody said, I ain't going to say no names. <laughs> they was like, I think you're too trusting. I think you're too trusting. Because me, I don't live my life in fear. Never have, never will. I'm not going to paralyze myself from um, meeting new people and embracing new people in my life because I met them online. No. I'm not. How do you how do you know? I mean, they could be a bad person, they could be a great person. So should I just cut into meeting people online? Should I just cut that off for fear? I mean, I could meet someone in a store. Someone and someone could introduce me to someone and they could be crazy. One of my friends, well, she wasn't my friend. She was a, the, a friend of a friend, but I knew her, but she wasn't my friend. So we were associates. And her, I met them in person hung out with the girl the lady and her husband we were at an event the husband i killed the lady so uh, so it doesn't matter whether you meet them online or meet them in person so a lot of my friend group i have met online and we became friends i had one girl met years and years and years ago i mean many many moons ago when i moved to texas and she was like, why is she inviting me? Because I used to throw events all the time. And I have a lot of friends, a lot of associates. I, I, have, I have a lot, right? And then um, she, uh, so I was like, hey, girl, you know, I'm having a get together. Why don't you come? You could bring your boyfriend. I think he was a boyfriend at that time. Bring your boyfriend. Come on. <laughs> she was like, why is she so friendly? because i am we have been talking online for a while okay come to the house it's gonna be a bunch of people what you gonna do something to me with a whole bunch of people and so she was like later on years later i found out she brought a knife because she didn't know who i was and we became great friends and still friends to this day still friends to this day um i have another friend so a, a few friends I've met online. I have not met them in person, but I feel they're some of my closest friends. Mm -hmm. Rachel, <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> I would trust them with my life. Would trust them with my life. I met some some guys online too, just platonic. Or no, I had to say no, it's platonic. 
Walter. <laughs> and he's crazy. He's he 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 loves me, but I'm like, no, Walter. Uh, do I need to put you in timeout? I put him in timeout before. No, it's strictly platonic. Well, we can't be friends. And so he, you know, I would talk to him. Um, he uh, got married. Relationship was tumultuous. And so we talk him, talk to him, talk him off the ledge with that situation. Then I went through my situation. So we were just platonic friends. I was just friends. Just because you feel a certain way, okay. You feel that way, I don't. So should we not be associates? Because you, oh, you look at me with puppy, with puppy eyes. Okay, so I mean, what, what, is, what people are not going to be attracted to you? How about to you? There are people who are attracted to you. What you going to say? Oh no, no, I, I, we can't even look at each other. We can't talk because you, you think you know. I, I, you, I'm pretty. That's dumb. No, I think a lot of people are pretty. So I, we shouldn't be friends. That doesn't mean I want a relationship with you. And so, um, I met another guy back in the day, honey. I met him online. That was when MySpace was popular. <laughs> and Clinton was just born. And I just met him online, um, MySpace. And we hung out a couple of times, went to, out to eat a couple of times. And then the kid's dad started to come back around slowly because I went through my whole pregnancy by myself. <coughs> And this guy, his name's Dave. I'll never forget him. If the dad never came back around, I probably would have been with Dave. Great guy. And then when I told him, you know, I'm going to try to work things out with the dad, that was it. But we remain friends. Just, you know, we just check on each other for years. Years. Did we hang out or anything again? No. But, you know, hey, how's it going? Just updates. Nothing. Still, to this day, we may check on each other. So it was just, I don't think every situation you should be afraid. A lot of people are afraid. If you are, that's fine. That's fine. We're all different. <clears throat> um, I am trusting. So I'll trust you until you give me a reason not to trust you. And it's not like I'm going to go meet somebody in a desert, in a deserted area. No. Um, and usually it's girls, you build that relationship online, just like some of you, some of my subscribers, I feel you are close, close to me, just like family. You know, there are some, uh, subscribers I connect with more than other subscribers, you know, just from the constant going back, you may shoot me an email. Like, for example, here's one, um, <clears throat> Sharon Johnson, Mabel, Jackie Newton, Black, Black something. I forgot what it is black something something i know one of them gave you their their uh code to some type of tv show or something i mean it, because you build that trust you build those relationships that's why i am pro um online dating <clears throat> i am pro online dating you get a chance to talk to people you can talk to them for a full year before you commit to meeting them or something like that i feel like you you build that relationship the 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 conversation and then one day you choose to meet in a public space I don't know I don't think anything's wrong with that some people are against it I'm not so I'm not gonna live my life in fear because one day I'll tell you how I met Bay Daddy <laughs> but I'm not gonna talk about that right now okay that's this is not the type of video purr, purr. <laughs> Shoo, talking about <laughs> I'm too friendly. <laughs> How did I meet some of y'all? <laughs> you know, I just, I know I keep repeating myself. Somebody said I do that. I do. Um, I just feel as though life is about taking chances and taking risks. And you never know what you're going to miss. If you don't step outside of your comfort zone. And if it fails, it fails. And I strongly, strongly feel, and I'm going to go after this. Whatever is meant for you will never be taken away. Never. If something is meant to happen to you, it's going to happen to you. We can't change it.
We can't go into the future and try to fix it. We can't go into the past. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. And I feel as though if I was to meet a new friend online or a new subscriber and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'm having a a, a, um, a signing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a, what do they call those things? Where the YouTuber meets the subscribers. A lot of people do that. So should they not meet them and do, what do you call them? I, don't forget, I forgot. We'll leave it in the comment section below. What you call it again? Yeah, I even met B-Love. I drove all the way downtown, met B Love and Prissy P. Hey P. Um, you know? So Prissy P was like, oh Joy, let's collab, let's do, let's do a food thing. Okay. I mean you, you meet me, we meet in the middle. Come on, let's go, girl. We're online. B Love asked me to do a food thing with her. Where 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 at, Miss B? Where? Where we going? I'll meet you. Met her online. She sure, was like, oh no, I met her online, so I should never. Same thing, yeah, yeah. I mean, you still do things with caution, of course. But you can feel a person's, for me, I can feel a person's energy. I, I can read people. I'm very, very good at reading people. Very good. It takes me about 10 seconds, maybe 30. Give me 30 seconds. I can read a person real quick. The energy, the vibe, mm, doesn't take me long at all. It has not failed me yet. <clears throat> has not failed me yet. It's one. It's like it's one of my gifts. Mhm. Mm okay, guys. I didn't talk your ear off because I'm not sleepy yet. <laughs> See, this is when I wish I had a little wine because wine makes me sleepy. It is like an automatic sleeping pill. So if I was to go somewhere. <clears throat> And, you know, they had, like, the adult stuff. I would not drink. The, I don't drink wine. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'll pass or I'll be passed out on your sofa. His instant sleeping pill. My mom was the same way. So if I saw her with a drink, which she didn't drink at all, I knew she wanted to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. But to see her with a drink during the day, never. Ever, 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 ever. Okay, guys. Bye, y'all.